got a giant CNC milling machine coming today and I'm really, really excited. I'm obviously not a qualified CNC technician, but I've been talking to a local company called Sio for a few months and they decided that I would be a good person to show off one of their CNC milling machines. So in exchange for a bunch of videos, they're giving me one. Now I just have to go pick it up at the distribution center because the delivery service says it's too big for them to drop off. Let's go get it! Okay, I'm waiting for the truck to show up and pick up my box. Teamwork, teamwork, take us home. Try to make him work with my 
板上，你知道吗？你是叫你最重要的一个下雨来就完了，是不是？你板上肯定要快的。对呀、啊，但是等一下我要呃，我能不能关掉门呢？啊？可不可以关掉门？So these are some guys from the neighborhood who do odd jobs. In Chinese, we call older guys like these uncles. They are a little rough around the edges. They remind me of the men in my family. They are good family guys, and work has been scarce for them during the pandemic. So I'm really happy I was able to hire a bunch and help out. Also, if you decide to show up at my house uninvited, they will be willing to dispose of your corpse for about twenty-five dollars. Just for the record, this is not the cool way to unload the milling machine. Please get proper lifting equipment, including proper safety gear. But this is China, and because it's going in my home studio, I have to kind of improvise. It may sound odd, but I'm actually a believer in more manufacturing being done outside of China, at least for certain things. Yes, if you want thousands of something a month, Chinese manufacturing is still your best bet. This often leads people to think it's always better to have CNC work done in China, but I just don't think that's true. A lot of people coming to Shenzhen from other countries for their hardware startups don't even bother to get close back home. There is a sweet spot for CNC outside of China where it makes good business sense. When it's moderate quantities, sensitive IP, short lead time, a rapidly evolving product, all things we'll get into later. But as someone who is knee deep in Chinese manufacturing, let me tell you, don't always be too quick to assume we are the best or the only option. And that's why in the past years I've started getting interested in CNC. I'm a tool person, and sometimes having the right tool for the job. Isn't in love. You need to have the right tool in the right place, and that's not always going to be in the Chinese factory other side of the world. 3D printers are awesome, not just because they can make useful little chunks of plastic. They are awesome because they can do that in your home safely and cleanly. Where a tool is matters almost as much as what it can do. A medium-sized CNC mill is a tool that can be located in a small business. Anywhere in the world, and that can change everything for that business. Right now, CNC machining in the U.S. and Europe is booming because while labor costs are a bit higher there, Chinese labor costs has also gone way up, and CNC mill and materials cost about the same no matter where they are. Now, with a global pandemic, the world has changed. We've all seen just how fragile our supply lines are. I've been trying to melt down masks, infrared thermometers, and other important supplies for months. My friends working in Chinese factories right now want to ship parts. My friends in American manufacturing want to buy parts. But in between, land, air, and sea transport, everything is a mess. Look at it this way: no matter how cheap and tasty a Chinese takeout place is, if you are snowed in. Best you have some canned food and knowledge of how to cook. For a small business, having a CNC machine, designing your products for CNC manufacturing, even if you outsource day-to-day -day production, this at least means you have the ability to move operations in-house if you have to. I think we are going to see more small companies doing this. This year, we've seen that every country, city. Heck, every town in the world needs to maintain the cap 
capacity for basic manufacturing in times of emergencies, if the flights are canceled, if the borders are closed. And a CNC milling machine is the tool that makes all the other tools you need to create the product from injection modes to assembly automation. This thing is pretty crazy. I still have to do some setting up before I can start making chips. I'm in no way an expert. I don't even know how to turn this on yet, let alone use it. So my videos with the Sio X5 are going to be showing you what a complete beginner can get out of a powerful industrial tool like this. In the meantime, if you have any question about the machine, the Sio contact link is in the description box. I'll see you all next time. And remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.